action. Oh. Well, hello there. Are you a friend or foe? My name is Chris Spartacus Sparzo, commander of Phalanx Combat Robotics Legion. Our profession? Destroy all who stand in our path. And to build a BattleBot for the 2020 BattleBot season. Soldiers of ancient Greek and Rome were one of the most formidable forces of all time because of their phalanx. In it, soldiers would use their shields in an interlocking pattern to distribute the blows of enemies across multiple soldiers at once. This is the primary inspiration for Team Phalanx's BattleBot for the 2020 season. Presenting Aegis, a powerful shield used by Zeus and Athena in Greek mythology, which is the namesake for Phalanx's first submission to the BattleBot's 2020 season. Underneath the Kevlar composite shield is a steel infrastructure. Aegis is a flipper bot similar in style to Bronco or Hydra. However, it uses a cam and follower style mechanism that allows the bot to be lower profile and also more mechanically efficient. There are two identical style mechanisms on either side of the bot which allows the flipper to be wider than most and also more accurate at targeting an opponent. Each mechanism uses a 4 inch bore pneumatic cylinder that actuates the flipper from 0 to 10.5 inches in less than 100 milliseconds producing 6,000 pounds of force. According to our calculations, it should be able to launch a 250 pound opponent so high it leads Earth's orbit, similar to this unlucky Persian here. Ouch! The exterior to Aegis will be made of Kevlar 29, which is similar to carbon fiber and steel in terms of strength, but twice as flexible as carbon fiber and six times lighter than steel. It's commonly used in high impact applications such as body armor, which we intend to mount to the chassis using rubber compression spacers, which should act like a rubber tire wall at a race car track when hit. Other than some minor uses of these concepts like in saw blades rubber flaps or ribots foamy exterior, we believe the full embrace of this technique is new to BattleBots. Using these elastic concepts, we should be able to nullify any foreign projectiles much more effectively than metal armor. Aegis will use four-wheel tank drive steering. Each of the two drivetrains on either side will be driven by a fifth scale 800 kilovolt brushless electric motor capable of delivering up to 10 horsepower each. The bot will be controlled using a pistol grip style radio transmitter that we believe is easier to use than a typical double joystick transmitter. Aegis uses four neoprene flexible wheels that are intended to grip the ground like a compression wheel. This will give the bot more traction than rigid wheels, in addition it will act like built in suspension. Aegis has been designed with the rule of thumb that every piece should be able to be removed with at most removing one other piece. We also only choose parts that are common and prioritize those made by multiple manufacturers. Most importantly, we believe in reproducibility of custom hardware. This includes making the shield and chassis out of water jet cut components and using a mold to make our shield, which will be reproducible in less than one day. Hey, what's up? My name's Andrew. I don't know how to read. Uh, this is my dojo where I get all my work done. Got my computer set up, got my 3D printer, got all my electronics. Team Phalanx is working on designing and getting our bot built. Hope you all uh, take interest in our design and uh, hopefully I can learn how to read someday. Driving strategy, the most underrated aspect of combat robotics. Our Aegis will top out at 7 miles per hour. Oh man, so speedy. Gotta love it. Our low center of gravity design and smooth sloped armor increases our probability of getting under our competition during a fight. Everyone loves seeing a 250-pound bot fly through the air and crash on the ground, and trust me, we're planning to do this as much as we possibly can. But to really put the nail in the coffin and take a KO for the match, it makes sense for us to stay close to the perimeter of the battle box. If we keep our fights to the outside, we greatly increase our chances of throwing the other bot out of the box. Like so. Oh man, oh man, look at him go. Now that's an impressive flip. Now here are some teams we admire. Of course, Aegis being a flipper, we have to look at the other two best flippers in the game. Bronco has been around forever, and then there's Hydra, the newcomer, of course, coming along with a super impressive hydraulic flipper that's been doing a fantastic job in the box. We believe flipper style bots have the greatest potential for innovation of any other weapon type. This is why we were compelled to come up with something original that we think can do an even better job than these two legends here. Now I thank you guys for your consideration. Please feel free to contact Chris, our team captain, or myself, Andrew, with any questions or concerns you may have. And we hope to see you in 2020. Thanks so much.